Hello everyone and welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody's doing good today. Um, I'm doing okay. I slept fairly well. Um, I don't feel so great for some reason, but uh, I'm sure I'll be fine. It's rainy out right now, but it's not quite as cold as it has been. Okay. On our prayer request today, um, Libby's husband Glenn, husband Glenn is in the hospital with pneumonia and heart issues. Neil Smith's son Drake was run over while riding his bike. He's seriously injured. Pray for his recovery. And Joy Tucker's friends, Chris's mother, passed away Sunday unexpectedly from a heart attack. Please remember the family in prayer. Norma's having an infusion Friday. Pray it helps. <clears throat> Brenda's husband, Nick, got results. There's no change. The cancer hasn't grown or shrunk, which that's good news. The Milford family needs prayers. Her best friend passed away on the 3rd. Wendy's adopted son lost his biological mother and her other adopted son lost his biological father both on Easter Sunday. It's the Williams and the Marbury families. And Tweets is having ear pain. It feels like fluid. So pray that gets better. Our Bible verses today comes from Ecclesiastes 4, 9 through 12. Two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up. But pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. Also, if two lie down together, they will keep warm. But how can one keep warm alone? Though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three st strands is not quickly broken. Amen. So there's power in numbers, obviously. Let's see. Okay, <clears throat> our devotion today is entitled, The Saddest Goose. Why is there a football in the parking lot, I wondered. But as I got closer, I realized the gray slump wasn't a football. It was a goose. A goose, the saddest Canada goose I'd ever seen. Geese often congregate on the lawn near my workplace in the spring and fall. But today there was only one. Its neck arched back and its head tucked beneath a wing. Where are your buddies? I thought. The poor thing was all alone. It looked so lonely I wanted to give it a hug. No, don't try this. <laughs> I've rarely seen a goose completely alone like my lonesome feathered friend. Geese are totally communal, flying in a V formation to deflect the wind. They're made to be together. As human beings, we were created for community too. And in Ecclesiastes 4.10, Solomon describes how vulnerable we are when we're alone. Pity anyone who falls and has no one to help them up. There's strength in numbers, he added, for though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. A cord of three strands is not quickly broken. This is just as true for us spiritually as it is physically. God never intended us to fly alone. Vulnerability vulnerably isolated. We need relationships with each other for encouragement, refreshment, and growth. Together we can stand firm when life's headwinds gust our way. Together. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I want to pray today for everybody on the prayer list. Please help them and please help anybody that's been affected by the coronavirus. 
Help anybody else out there with their needs that needs it, Lord. In the Lord's name I pray. Amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come up out. Let's see. Where was I at here on this? Wednesday. Sash Goose. That's that's what it was. Let me put this back in here. I've got my neat bookmark. So everybody, I hope you have a great day. Um, like I like I said, it was raining. If it clears up, it's plenty warm. That's like fifty some. Uh, if it if it's not if it quits raining, I'll be able to go out and walk. Because I definitely want to do that. I'll, I mean, surely sometime today I'll be able to if, it, if it's raining now. But um, other than that, I don't know what to see. If you missed Logan's awesome snack reviews, watch it. Uh, it was a great one last night. And Logan actually didn't like something. And I think that might be a first. <laughs> I told everybody to take a snapshot of it. So... Anyway, I'll get into something. Uh, I know I had some ideas for today, and uh, I'll just have to get them together. I've got to wake up first. <laughs> if I drank plenty more of my coffee, it might help. <laughs> All right, everyone. I'll see you later. Um, hopefully soon on uh, Take a Walk With Me. God bless everybody. Have a great day. A great morning first. Bye-bye.